Meanwhile, early voting is now underway here in South Florida with just over two weeks until the midterm elections. And it comes just hours after that face off between the candidates for governor in our state. The first debate that was held between Republican Ron DeSantis and Democrat Andrew Gillum. It happened last night in Tampa. And now back to early voting. Some voters camping out even all night long just to cast their ballot. Local 10 reporter Trent Kelly joins us from that location in Miami. Yeah, Christy, Janice, it was quite a sight this morning to see that line of blue tents right outside this library. Voters appearing to be extra energized heading into this first day of early voting, especially after watching that fiery face off last night between the two men vying to become Florida's next governor. This is the first day of early voting, and we're here to show people that it's really important to come out and vote. I love the way you work in. A voting line turned block party as dozens camped outside the Shenandoah Library in Miami overnight, hoping to be the first to cast their ballot in the 2018 midterms. The fact that people were out here in tents starting at 7 o'clock last night, getting up early this morning means that they really care. Okay. Voters seemingly extra motivated hours after the two candidates vying to become Florida's next governor squared off on the debate stage. You don't support Bernie Sanders' what, Medicare what for I All. What I support is expanding Medicaid for over 800,000 Floridians. Republican Ron DeSantis and Democrat Andrew Gillum meeting face-to-face -face in Tampa for the first time and taking two polar opposite positions on issues like health care, gun control, and, of course, President Trump. DeSantis portraying his opponent as a failed mayor, while Gillum tried painting DeSantis as a do-nothing congressman. He spent six years in Congress, and while in the majority party in Congress, never passed a single piece of legislation. Thank you. He's well, not here, interested in governing, he's interested in destroying. Here's the thing, under Mayor Gilm's leadership, Tallahassee is the most crime-ridden city in the entire state of Florida. Yeah, that debate getting pretty testy there at times. Now back out here live, you can see those lines we were noticing earlier this morning. Those are now gone. Early voting will be open here in Miami-Dade and Broward counties from 7 in the morning until 7 at night, all the way through Sunday, November the 4th. That's the Sunday right before Election Day. So plenty of time for, for voters to get out and make sure their voices are heard in this midterm. That's the latest here in Miami. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.